So now we're going to give ourselves access to the database. And um, what we need for this is we need to generate a public and a private key. So we're going to use putty generator to do this. So what we're going to do is just generate a code. But you just move the mouse around here for a couple of minutes. Just to, this in the background is generating random numbers. So once we have that now, we want to save the private. Sorry, we want to save the private key. We're not going to put a password on this. Just for this. Okay, so now we're just going to copy there. It does, control A doesn't work, we just have to copy it. And I'm just going to paste this into the notepad. We need, we're just going to save this now, sorry. And then we're going to need this later. Close this down now, we don't need it anymore. So now we're going to go into the SSH access rules. So the key value that's in there, so we're just going to actually replace that key value with what we have in the notepad. Sorry. So we just pasted that new code in. Add new key. Now this does take um, a few minutes to work, so I'm just going to fast forward the video from when. So I'm just going to fast forward now, and there we go. So we can see there with the icon disappeared. So now we are going to go to the SSH access rules to allow um, our connection. So now we're just going to open up port 22 and enable. And we're going to open up the HTTP port as well. And now finally we're going to open up port 1521. And now we can go back out. 